I'm going to be leaving autofocus and auto gain on for this, the exposure control, because there's a lot of detail I want to show you. The uh, video is about these little OLED displays that I took one to bits, because we'd had a couple of them fail when water got in, and I noticed that water had formed a film uh, between the display and the circuit board. And on a closer looking at the other one that we had that was faulty, I noticed that there was a very distinct corrosion in one of these plated through holes, and that, it turns out, is a track that comes along here, and it comes from the power supply to feed the display. I'm not sure what voltage that is, I haven't actually checked that out, it would have been interesting to do so, but I didn't. So, um, to check that out, I actually got the faulty display and I soldered a small wire, which equates to this pad here, uh, onto this track and then ran it over to this end of the capacitor here, which equates to that uh, plated through hole appearing next to the capacitor and then basically just joining onto the end of that capacitor. And that fixed the problem, so that was a water-related corrosion issue with the power supply. Now, other things worth noting about this display, um, it does have this little chip on flex, which this is apparently a little silicon chip, which uh, is the actual active side of it, the side that would normally face up if it, on a standard chip on board and then if the little leads bonded onto it. That's actually placed down onto the uh, flexible film and then bonded onto the copper contacts on that, which uh, is quite an interesting way of doing things. And then they basically flood around the outside of it with the, the black sealant to actually pr presumably protect it from moisture ingress and also to block light, I suppose, from going in underneath. The display itself, I tried separating this, but it does seem to be like vacuum bonded together. And it's got a series of electrodes on top and a series of electrodes in the back that sandwiches the electroluminescent film. And um, the if you actually run a battery, and this isn't recommend, this isn't the correct way to drive OLED by any stretch of the imagination, but if you actually run a battery across the back of it, you can actually make it. Uh, you can get the sort of rows of LEDs. Excuse the noise. Oh! Yeah, that was a, that was a fly past. Our show starts with a jet fly pasts every so often, so uh, that's, that's quite noisy. But uh, continuing, yep, you can actually make uh, the, the rows of LEDs, or OLEDs, to give them the correct name, organic LEDs, light. Uh, the technology involved here, it's a bit like electroluminescent, but it's a, it's a lower voltage version where instead of capacity coupling the current to the, the phosphor loaded materials, they, um, uh, it's done at low voltage by direct coupling of electrons through them to stimulate the phosphors. If that, if it is based in phosphor, I'm pretty sure it is. So yes, that, that's interesting to know that it turns out these could be repaired just by virtue of the fact that it was the accelerated corrosion. I'm guessing that might mean it's a modest voltage uh, that's being supplied to that display. But uh, yep, that was uh, it certainly it let us fix the other display and we've got another one on the way, so that's an, a spare then, I guess. So um, yeah, good result.